So welcome to Whippoorwill Holler. I'm Miss Lori, and this is Mr. Brown. We live in the hills of Arkansas. We love the Lord. Keepers of the old way, but accept some of the new. We love to cook, and we love to eat. We love to garden. It's in our blood. It's how we stay sustainable and fill our pantry. We do a lot of canning and preserving. We live a sustainable life. We love our family. We work hard. And every once in a while, we like to dance. So y'all join us. So summertime is here. Spring has done gone. Looking back at all the pretty flowers that bloomed, the irises that are still blooming, all the beautiful colors. My pond's full. The tomatoes are coming on. My different roses and perennials. Things that I've harvested already from the garden. My herbs that I love so much. I can't say enough of how pretty the irises were this year. The sage in the garden. The red roses. the yellow roses, the blush pink roses. I can say that this was a spring, that the roses just really popped this year. And so did my herbs, my broccoli, my radishes, lettuce but we're talking about spearmint today i've had very a lot of questions about how i harvest and what i do with all my mint so that's what we're going to talk about today and here i went out there because i harvest mint about once every two weeks and um if I harvest quite a bit, I usually put it in my 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 uh, hanger outside in the greenhouse, and I dry them in it. But a lot of the times, I just tie it up like this, and I hang it here in the house and just let it dry. And I also get to smell it when I walk by it, and it smells so good. You can see that I hang some of my herbs here on my pot hanger. This one here is already good and dry. So I think I will trade off here. We'll take the dry ones and hang these up and let them dry for a while. I've got several different herbs that I just, I go out and I harvest most of them like my oregano and dill and basil and stuff I, and thyme. I harvest it about once a week. And I come in here and just uh, hang it in the house. All of this is pretty much dry, waiting for me to put it all up. So, this is our dry spearmint. I mean, there's no moisture to it. I, I let it dry for several weeks. And then I just uh, take it off the stem. But even the stem of a mint plant, you can still use it. You can make tea from those stems. You can boil it in water. 
you can use this to infuse vinegars too. I'll tell you what I use mint for a lot of times. Mint is good to put out in your chicken house. Especially fresh mint. Because the mice, we have a lot of mice that gets in our chicken houses. The mice and the insects and like the mites that get on the chickens, they don't like mint. They don't like the smell of it, I guess. And uh, if you can put it in their little boxes, their, their lay boxes, it does help. You can put this mint, you can cook with it. Like I said, you can infuse with it. It has a lot of good properties to it. Mint tea is good for your complexion. It's just really good. Now I'm gonna show you how I make my mint tea. But first we're gonna put this little bit up. Now I've got mint put up. This is my little um, what I make my tea in my different teas and you can just put it in there just shove it in there however much that you want however strong you want your tea that's about how much I put in there now you can do it this way or I have a uh, found on Amazon that you can buy these little tea bags and you can use these several times they're pretty sturdy I think I got 300 in a box and if I can find it I'll leave the link down below in my description box and I just put however much mint however strong I want my tea down in my little tea bag And I have used these, oh, these little tea bags, I think I've used them, reused them like three times before. That's how sturdy they are. They're good, uh, they're a good tea bag. And you just pull the string and you can make you some cold tea or a cup of hot tea with it. And use either one, they both work. So I'm going to get my mint jar. I've got one here that I started putting some of my mint in. Now usually I've got uh, my big jars that I put it in, but I've just about got most of my big jars full. And this is the last one that I've been putting my mint in. And mint stays really good in... Uh, jars with good lids on them so it's about that easy now let's make a cement tea so I've got some boiling water here and I just put my mint down in there or you can use this whichever one you do it the same way And I'm just going to let that steep a while now. Because I love black tea and mint together, I'm going to get me a tea bag, just one, with my black tea. This is Tetley tea, British tea that I absolutely love. And I've had it gifted to me from people that can get the real stuff and they send it to me and I'll tell you I absolutely love this tea it's the best so my tea has been steeping oh probably about 45 minutes or so and it looks plenty strong enough to me
Now, I'm going to sweeten my tea the way I like it. You can sweeten it with honey, with whatever uh, sugar substitute you use. I'm using just regular sugar. For a quart jar, that was about um, probably about a little less than a fourth a cup. Here in the south, we do like our tea sweet, that's for sure. So let's pour us up some tea. I like a little lemon in my tea. If you don't know much about mint, do your research on it because it has a lot of good properties in it. I know it makes me feel good and I also believe that it really does help my complexion. So I'm going to stir this up and I'm going to enjoy it. So make you some mint tea. So now I'm going to show you where I keep a lot of my teas that I use, where I keep it. I keep them over here in just a little cabinet in the corner. This is my tea corner. I keep most of them in jars. I've got my little teapot here. My different kinds of teas. This is nettle. And then I've got my chamomile and my mint. Like I said, this is not all my mint. A lot of my mint is put up in the, the main pantry in bigger jars. Got some more chamomile. I've got some peach tea that was sent to me. I got some ashwagandha, which is good for you. Plantain, I've got um, some echinacea, echinacea, which is a good immune booster. There's my plantain, ashwagandha. I know I'm not saying that right, but it's a it's a really good, uh, really good for stress. And you just use it just like you would any other tea. So that's where I, I keep my teas. So I think we'll make us some, some good old hot tea. And I'm going to show you how I make my hot tea and uh, out of mint. And here I've got some crystallized ginger. You can use just a regular ginger root. Just take you a few pieces off. Put you some hot water. And just let that steep a while. Now, not putting any other kind of teas in here. Your mint tea by itself does not get very dark. It's a real light color. Okay, my hot tea's been steeping a while, uh, but you can see that it doesn't get a dark color. Mint just by itself does not turn your water very dark. And I'm going to sweeten my hot tea with a little bit of honey. You can also put you just a little bit of cream in here if you like your tea with a little bit of cream or milk. 
this right here with the ginger and the mint is so good for sore throat, respiratory, just any kind of sickness where you feel bad. Mint tastes best when it's grown in full sun, but it can grow in partial shade. Mint is a very good um, for anxiety, blood pressure, has a lot of good nutrients in it. It's very easy to grow and it'll fill your garden. It's good in pots or you can plant it out in your main garden. And one of my other favorite ones is chocolate mint. Makes a really, really good hot tea. You can find most plants during the spring, mint plants, at most of your nurseries. They're easy to start out in your garden, easy in containers, and very easy to grow. And so good for you. So guys, I hope y'all like this video. I know I've had several, several for quite a while ask about you know, people know that I grow a lot of different teas and mint, and uh, mint tea is one of my favorites. And uh, they want me to show how I use and uh, put up my mint. And um, so I thought this would be a good time because I was harvesting some mint and uh, had a really, really <laughs> busy about seven days of nonstop. But this right here is good for whatever ails you. And all the different teas that you see in my little tea pantry there, all good for you. So I hope this encourages y'all to grow y'all some mint. There's all kinds of different mints. Just get online. And uh, my favorites are spearmint, sweet mint, and chocolate mint. Those are my favorite three that I love to make teas out of. And like I tell you, it'll take your garden over and uh, you'll just have mint forever. And the more you harvest it, the thicker it gets. And uh, you'll have mint forever and put a lot up. And it'll go a long ways too. And I just wanted to show y'all a little bit of what the spring brought to us, the beginning of summer. And... Uh, just a little bit about what's going on. There's a whole lot more going on, that's for sure. I hope y'all have had <clears throat> a wonderful uh, Memorial Day weekend. I hope everybody's safe and enjoyed their self. And uh, I hope everybody just uh, remembered what Memorial Day is all about. And uh, all those brave men and women that's for sure but all the men and women in uniform that go out and protect us every day we uh we salute you and uh you're always in our prayers just know that and uh i know i look a little bit <laughs> like and of course i didn't i did not brush my hair put my makeup on because i've been out in the garden I've been taking care of grandkids. i just been doing so much. There just ain't time for partying up. But anyways, we got more coming up. Um, Mr. Brown and I are going to do a video on the fertilizers that we use to fertilize our garden and how we mix it up and how we use it because we've had a lot of questions on that. And then, uh, of course, there's always more cooking. Mr. Brown needs to do some cooking, and he needs to do some Bible verses to us, read to us, too. So he's been a very busy man. And even though that school's out, we still work in the summertime, but uh, took a few days off, and it has really helped. But we stayed really busy, too. We didn't just relax by the riverbank, that's for sure. But... Uh, Mr. Brown's been working on uh, his fishing boat, the lake boat, and uh, we want to take y'all out with us because so many of y'all really enjoy that. So he's been busy getting that ready so we can all go on a boat ride and go fishing together. 
But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I know I did. Because I love my tea. Whether if it's hot tea or cold tea. I, I, I'm a tea girl. I'm from the South. But uh, I hope that answers some of y'all's questions too. If not really, some of y'all have never grown mint. You don't really know what to do with it. Of course, you can cook with it too. You can infuse with it. There's just so much. And uh, that'll come in later videos. But anyways, we want to wish y'all a wonderful week. And we'll be back in a few days. So don't go away. And uh, we'll probably be out in the garden. Or it may be a recipe. I'm not sure. It's just whatever life brings us. Anyways, we love you guys. Y'all be safe. Be well. Don't worry. God's got this. Just be prepared. Be smart. Because I know myself that there's a better place. And uh, I'm just, I'm not worried. I'm just prepared. I'm prepared to, to take care of my family. And that's even going to be another video of how you can take care of yourself if we have to go off grid. So bye, everybody. Y'all have a beautiful couple of days before we see you next. We love y'all.